Here's a breakdown of how he stole the London Eye. While shooting, I reached forward as if I was about to grab something in front of me and then froze. At that moment, I had my stepdad hold out a miniature London Eye in line with the real one, and then I finished motion through. Lastly, I shot a clean plate. In the end, I started by making a cut just before I froze, and then another after I grabbed the miniature eye. Then I deleted everything in the middle. To remove my stepdad's hand, I went frame by frame masking it out, revealing the clean plate beneath it. Now, to remove the real London Eye, I opened up the clean plate in Photoshop. Using the cloning tool, I took clean sections from the image and painted over the eye. I saved this image and brought it back into my editor. I placed this image in the edit from the moment after I grabbed the souvenir. Lastly, to make it sit in the background, I cut out the parts of my body that were overlapping it and then brought them to the top. Finally, we have this. <laughs> Here's a breakdown of how I tried to cheat at a game of Jenga. To start, I tied a Jenga piece to some fishing wire and then the other end to a golf club. I would set up half a normal sized Jenga set in front of the camera with a giant set directly behind it. My brother pulled the piece of Jenga connected to the fishing wire out and then pretended to drop it on top of the set in the background. My stepdad yanked the brick out of the shot me and my brother reacted as if it was still sitting on top. Lastly, I simply walked into the background and pulled out one of the Jenga pieces collapsing the set. In the edit, I started by blending the two sets together. To do this, I cloned some of the bricks from the larger set and brought them down so they covered the top of the foreground Jenga set. I then threw on some shadows under each of the bricks to add some realism. Next, in all the gaps in the foreground Jenga set where you should be seeing grass, I cut them out. I then created a mask around a section of grass and dragged it over to the Jenga set. I dragged this layer to the bottom, meaning we can now see through all the gaps in the Jenga set. To remove the Jenga block from after when my brother dropped it, as well as the fishing wire, I simply went frame by frame using the cloning tool, erasing them out using detail from a clean section of the shop. Lastly, I masked out a brick from the Jenga set and animated it falling on top. Finally, we have this. Here's a breakdown of how I turn myself into 10,000 jelly beans. To start, I filmed a shot where my friend Kleine hits me on the arm. As he did, he froze and then I quickly ran out of shot. My two other friends then poured a huge bucket of jelly beans over where I was sitting and then Kleine continued the motion through. After clearing up the mess and the policeman even offering to give us a hand, lastly, we shot a clean plate. In the edit, I started by cutting out the section where I froze, giving us this. Next, I went frame by frame masking out the bucket and my friend who was holding it revealing the clean plate beneath it. I masked around the block of jelly beans and duplicated it a few times. I then went back and created the mask around my body and applied that mask over the jelly beans. I expanded this mask over several frames so they appeared to drop to the ground. Lastly, I simulated a few extra jelly beans to add to the scale, and finally, we have this. Ah, oh, go on, spill the beans! Brandon? Here's a breakdown of how he stole cotton candy out the sky. To start, I set up a stand with a branch attached to it and pushed some cotton candy onto the end. Whilst filming, all I had to do was simply pull the cotton candy from the branch and then hand it to my friend Gabs. In the edit, I started by cutting the cotton candy and bringing that layer to the top. Next, I created a sky replacement by cutting around the clear blue sky and replacing it with a picture I found of some clouds. I made sure one of the clouds was lined up with the cotton candy. As my hands and face go into the sky layer, I went frame by frame cutting myself out and brought that layer to the top. I cut the cotton candy layer in as I grabbed it so from before that moment it looked just like a cloud. From the moment after I grabbed it, I used the cloning tool and painted that cloud blue in place of where the cotton candy was, making it look like I'd just snatched it out of the sky. Lastly, I pinked out a few stray pieces of cotton candy that flew around the shop, and we have this. 